My microphone is messed up. So now, <laughs> feel me. Me, me, me. It's on you. I don't know what Nova Castile's doing. Oh, she's putting a hose on. Check it out. What's going on and welcome back. Today we are working on the Nova again. We got a few things that uh, we've got for it and want to get them installed. We're actually working on hose fitment. Did a little bit of that before, um, but we got another hose and fit that, cut it. These are not direct fit hoses. You do have to cut them to fit, but we've got them fitted on there. We also, I got the hose for the steam line got that on there and we've got a few other other things that we can do we did get the new dipstick we can put the dipstick in possibly but let me turn the camera around and let you see the hoses all right so let's see so there you can see the upper hose and there's the lower hose down there both hoses are the 22437 gates part number but we did have to cut them to fit this one up here now the hose inside diameter is an inch and a half this tube on the water pump is inch and a quarter so we did have to get an adapter it's inside there um, it's just a little rubber hose adapter you can get them at the parts store we had to order it because they didn't carry it in stock but that's in there so that's going to fit we haven't clamped it yet because we're just test fitting we're going to pull the radiator off and we've got to mount the fan to it we got to get the fan mounted and then we can install the radiator and probably leave it in there now this is your steam line it's not fully tightened down and tightened it down yet but i think we're just going to follow the upper hose with it it's not the best looking thing um but not much we can do about that um because it connects up here now if it connected lower i would have ran it underneath the hose you wouldn't have seen it so much I'm not a big fan of, of how we're having to do that. I'm not sure if we could do it a cleaner way. Um, Cause you'd have to see it. And we're trying to keep it out of the way of the belt here. So I don't know, is what it is. We'll run it like this for now. If we come up with a better way, we can change it later. But let me show you where that connects over here. And if you can see, now this one I did tighten down. It's this connection right here. Connects to the steam lines on the top of the engine there and that helps to get any air out of the cooling system keep it out so that you've got coolant full coolant going through the engine but that's run we still got to fit this a little bit better probably won't do that until we get the inner fender so we see how much room we've got now the radiator cover this cover we actually just ordered another one because this one's got this curved piece up here. It kind of detracts from being able to see the engine. And you know, this was functional as far as the fan before when the inline six was in it. So we don't really need that. The one we ordered is gonna come straight across. So that way it'll give a little bit better view of the engine and the holly brackets and all that because I mean, they're good looking pieces. You know, you kind of want to see that. So we did order another one of those. It should be in in a few days. So we'll get that put on, but we do need to put the fan on the radiator, get that installed, and then we can put the radi radiator back in. I have to get some hose clamps. Got, hadn't got hose clamps yet, but a little small project today, but something that we definitely need to get done. We're getting there. We're getting some things done. Uh, we've been busy. And also want to get the fuel tank in. If we can get that in, that would be awesome. I do need to get some fittings for it though. And then make up some line for it. I think I have some extra braided line, I think sitting over there. So make up the line. And I think I showed you in the previous video. 
where we're just going to run the lines to the Corvette regulator. Anyway, let's get busy on mounting this fan. Let's tear this stuff back out and uh, mount the fan to the radiator. All right, so we got the fan mounted to the radiator. Pretty simple. It uses the, uh, I don't know what you call them, the little zip ties for mounting fans. But now we're going to cut the ends off here. And they're going to go flying. Oh, not too bad. Cut these ends off. Sweet. Need to check out the condenser too. Like what um uh, what it needs to mount. I'm just gonna put this one hose on so hold it up. That's pretty good, you got plenty of clearance there. And like I said, the other shroud is gonna go here. So it'll pretty much stop like at the edge of the radiator here, just go straight across. And then you'll be able to see the awesome holly brackets, the painted water pump, all that stuff. So that's gonna look good, man. Let's see if I can get a better shot of that fan. Oh yeah, looks pretty good. I don't know what Nova Castile is doing. Oh, she's putting a hose on. Check it out. Yeah, it's gonna look good. Definitely. I had it pushed like all the way up on there. Yeah. I would, don't don't push it on because we're gonna have to pull it back off to get the clamps on there. That is gonna work, man. Hoses. Sweet. I like it. This was kind of a pain to get back off because that barb. We're just gonna set it right there. But there we go. One more step down. Uh, we may try to work on that fuel tank. I don't have the fittings though. Damn it. Dang. I don't have the fittings. <coughs> that cold air is massive. It looks massive right there. <laughs> That's crazy. And so you'll be able to see more of that too, more of the intake tube, because it's just going to come across here. Hmm? Uh, yeah. That thing is massive. Mm -hmm. Jeez. Sweet. I, my hood will fit. <laughs> I think it will. All right, so we decided to go ahead and put the condenser in the car. Um, since we were putting the radiator in, I wanted to see how the condenser would fit with it. So we grabbed the stuff from Classic Auto Air and proceeded to mount the condenser. Wasn't too bad, kind of a little bit of a pain, um, the way the brackets go on and stuff. But let me show you that and you'll see where that goes. So this may be a little bit hard to see, but this is the condenser here. It's one of the brackets. Another bracket here. And let me get you down here and look through there. You can see there's another bracket there. It's kind of hard to see, but that's one of the lines that goes up to the front. And then on the other side, here's the line here. Now that is this is not the correct grommet. We're gonna have to find some grommets. I don't know if one was supposed to come with the kit or we're supposed to reuse a factory one because we had to drill this hole here. It's the same size as these holes in which these are the factory grommets, but as you can see, they're pretty tore up. So I'm gonna have to source some grommets, at least for here. 
I guess we won't be using those holes anymore for anything that I know of. So we'll source one and, and put it in here. I have to try to find one pretty quick, but but that's gonna do it for today on the Nova. Um, a little bit of progress there. A little bit is better than no bit, so. Well, we got the radiator. That is a beautiful radiator. That is a champion radiator. Um, this is the first time we've had it unbagged, so. I mean, look at that, it's polished. Let's see if I can get you in there. This is a nice radiator. And it comes with a screw-in fitting, so I mean, if you ever wanted to put it, say, in another car, and needed a smaller fitting or what have you, you just change the fittings out. It's pretty nice. You got the O-rings on them. It's a nice piece. I really like that radiator. I mean, the polish on it is amazing. It's awesome. Looks really good. The fan looks good on there. Progress, progress. We're making progress. There's our AC line coming through right there. So, but we we're getting there. We just wanted to put the condenser on there just to uh, get something accomplished since we we're up here working on the radiator and whatnot. And, um, but now, or the next thing I think we're going to do is the fuel system. So, once I get a couple fittings for the fuel tank, the lines for it, I think we're going to work on that and get it up on the car because we definitely need that for the car to run. We didn't need to do the condenser today for the car to run, but we're in the vicinity of it, and I wanted to see it, how it went on, so we put it on. But that's gonna do it for today. Progress is progress, as always, moving forward. Hope you liked this video. If you did, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. We're getting closer with the Nova. We'll see you on the next one.